the path of return to God. I will always come to meet you when you take the path to me. Believe me that your distance from me is giving me little happiness, although you humans should not imagine a concept of sorrow on my part either, but I long for your love, and as long as you remain separate from me I feel the absence of this love. Hence it will also be comprehensible to you that I watch your every step that I see when you turn them into my direction and that I then will also come to meet you in order to shorten your path of return, so that you will arrive at your goal faster. Even so, I will have to stop in my track if you come to a standstill yourselves, if you change your mind again or look back to the region you want to leave. I don't want to determine you free will by any means, I can certainly lure you which in fact I do, but I cannot compel you, for your return to me must be and has to remain a completely free act of will. Yet you ought to know and believe that no thought of yours which applies to me will fade away or fail to reach its goal. And every such thought will be assessed by me as free will and appropriately rewarded by constantly staying near to you and doing everything in order to attract your attention time and again. You don't know how infinitely profound my love is for you, my living creations, you don't know that this love will only ever yearn for you and that I therefore will not write off any one of my living creations even if it still keeps its distance from me of its own free will. Even then my love will still take care of it and try to approach it, but how much more so with a child which is and wants to remain my own, which just keeps looking sideways because it gets excited and attracted from all directions. But I know how it thinks in its heart. I know that its love is intended for me and that it is just too weak to resist all kinds of enticements. For time and again it will assuredly find its way back to me, it will remain on the path to me and will not divert from it either, since the longing of its heart applies to me alone. The path to me is leading steeply upwards, it is arduous. It just won't do that I should make it easy that I should combine it with enticement, because this path should be taken for pure love of me and not for the sake of other advantages. Which is only ever a hostile intention to attract people into taking other paths which will lead far away from me. This is why you will quite often get tired during your excursion to the top and yet longingly look back to the world you want to leave. And I allow this to happen but only for your own sakes, for every voluntarily accomplished ascent will have the most glorious results. I will come ever closer to him and he to me, and in my presence the human being will then experience the bliss which will compensate him for everything he had relinquished for my sake. And this presence should be the goal which you should pursue with absolute determination, you should not rest until you have reached me but who will assuredly shorten your path by coming to meet you. Thus you will not be separated from me for much longer, as long as you only desire my presence and steadfastly continue on the path you have taken. Even if you occasionally find it difficult because you can't see any obvious progress and believe not to have climbed up even one step. If you were able to look back into the abyss you would also be able to assess the significant distances you had covered so far, and you would happily cover the last short stretch of the path which still separates you from me. But you can rest assured that I will prevent you from falling back into the abyss. I will invisibly hold on to you but continually pull you upwards, after all. My heart rejoices in the fact that a child is returning into the father's house, and I will truly help on this last short path to reach it and imperceptibly walk beside it until it will see me myself at the goal and my arms will be able to embrace the child which has returned home to the father, from whom it once had originated. Amen.